here we have a simplified process for mortgage approval uh, this is uh, just sample process nothing uh, real to to show uh, how we can model um, participant in the process tasks uh, and uh, decisions uh, uh, which are based on the probability and also on duration uh, here the C duration of the tasks and the duration of the uh, flows between tasks and now we track the total time uh, of this process also in the analysis we will see the time of each uh, task and the duration between them so I will run this analysis here And we see the total time was 5.3 days and here we see each task and who did that task like loan administrator initial reviewer provide loan right so now uh, if i will run again i see a different kind of result i see the total it took uh, uh, 12 days because of some uh, probabilities to come back to update uh, request to update request again and um, that's uh, mm, resulted in the successful loan pro we see here that was the last task performed provide loan um, but the total 11.5 uh, days so is, was that okay right we see here this process uh, is uh, satisfying this requirement that the time shall not exceed six days so if I will go here I will see that this requirement the total time shall not exceed six days is not satisfied right now this analysis is visual it is okay right but uh, what if I want to calculate uh, the duration of the tasks and compare to the total duration so if i want to do this uh, i will need to use uh, some additional capabilities and those capabilities comes uh, from the sample we see here is the sample of ontological behavior modeling and this ontological behavior modeling sample comes uh, out of the box with simulation toolkit you will find this in, uh, in simulation toolkit uh, between samples here we see ontological behavior modeling and on the uh, one of the cases here we see ontological uh, case uh, we see there is um, time activity pattern so we will copy this pattern to our project time activity pattern just this one element copy to our project so copy and then paste to our project here we see this simulation time activity pattern this pattern we copy paste it and here I can drag and drop this pattern so this pattern allows me to to track the start time end time and duration of every task which, which is performed in specific activity and that's how I could some of those tasks get the some of the tasks and then uh, do actually each task uh, duration analysis for example uh, multiply on uh, expense or of that task um, based on the duration you know i can assign the rate can have different people performing those different tasks based on expense later uh, calculate the total expense uh, um, I, I have full full control so how to proceed with this so now i need to take uh, my uh, behavior model here we have this uh, activity and uh, it shall be part of my process block S should shall be part of my process block but not only part of the process block but also uh, classify behavior so refactor convert to more elements classify behavior now i will take those activities here we have uh, activities and drag and drop them here all of them are here and all of them including this one 
shall inherit from, from this pattern. So I right click on select all of them and then I right click and say uh, select in containment tree and then right click again create relation outgoing generalization simulation time activity pattern and time activity pattern okay so i inherited from this one in order to get those properties i need those properties like start time end time duration now i have all those properties in those in those uh, activities so i could uh, now manipulate with them but uh, if i want to manipulate i need some diagram like parametric diagram right so for that purpose i need to make them as the parts again so i will uh, create a composite association to all of them again i could use this uh, select all option but this is not so much to to do here okay the last one so i have uh, part properties and then uh, i need to set that they are adjunct properties so this this is done uh, again in my process here i see my parts those were created when i created composite association i will select all of them right click and say refactor convert to more element and adjunct properties okay now i need to assign multiplicity from zero to many and do synchronization here so uh, validation and join properties set principle fortunately everyone has different principle right so cancel 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 i don't know which one i'm assigning so i need to do this one by one right click validation set principle or evaluate request this will be a late request and then uh, another one of a late request uh, it could be the same one right uh, validation adjunct set principle yes then provide loan validation adjunct the principle initialate review request mortgage date request again and reject application now once we did that the last thing is actually to subs subset the properties so we need to drag them here and set subset properties Okay, so we did this and uh, now we could um, lay out a diagram and uh, we can um, 
uh, create parametric diagram to to track the uh, duration of each of those properties of these tasks and then compare to the total uh, duration of the process so total duration is uh, this one uh -huh. and then I will calculate the duration of each of the process uh, some of those and then uh, compare so for that I will create a couple of uh, more properties here so R to uh, store relative result and then uh, pp to store to store tasks and then uh, I can also track each of the one two three four five six seven of duration of each of the activities so activity one real to seven so i can go here and create a select and containment i can create those value properties to track each of them so copy and then here five six seven i could track all of them okay so now i will create parametric diagram here right click on this block create diagram sysml parametric diagram and in this diagram uh, i can show those uh, properties uh, pretty much maybe i need all of them right uh, there is also wizard which allows me to automatically create uh, uh, equations and connect them to the value property so i will use also wizard so it will be um, total time equal oh actually another thing is that now I want to see duration properties from each of the activities so but maybe I will use result okay uh, total time equal a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus a5 plus a6 a7 parse map and uh, visualize now I want to calculate the uh, R so um, again the wizard and R equal TT divided by S CT. Okay. The last is to extract the duration of each of the activities. So uh, let's let's go to the wizard. Say show part properties, and this will come from the. and this will come from the classifier behavior and then in classifier behavior you have uh, activities and those activities uh, they have uh, value properties now each of them has this value properties duration so this is very important for me because that's what I wanted to track so I will go here and say duration 1 is this one, duration 2 is this one, duration 3 is this one, duration 4 is this one, duration 5 is this one, duration 6 is this one, duration 7 is this one. and uh, that's it so i could uh, again lay out this view i don't need those parts those are participants in my project and uh, i should be able to get the uh, 
uh, relevant duration of task compared to total duration and total task duration compared to the total process duration. Now we can run this analysis and that should show this result. So I see that uh, R, T, T and C, T. No longer I see on the whole process duration, but I see each of the task durations which were participated in the process, not the ones which were not participated in the process I see as a zero. And I can run many times this one. Can we run it? So in this situation it is seven. So we see that on task is uh, 1.4 days and on the whole uh, process seven days and this is uh, violating requirement that uh, mortgage loan rejection or uh, approval shall take um, less than six days until we will be providing loan so i now i can also show those columns in instance table select nested columns i can show those columns as r and t here okay and I can sort in order to see the latest results here. Each execution is the single instance based on those duration constraints, right? Uh, I get the uh, uh, average, random, minimum or maximum result. And uh, this uh, uh, is uh, tra tracked uh, as R, C, T and T, T, right? So now I can see here that um, I'm uh, analyzing uh, in the time random number right so but uh, in the 18.5 I can't run Monte Carlo on this one but it uh, 19 allows me to execute this model um, many times and track the track the uh, results uh, uh, distribution so uh, I will uh, update the histograms here so i will say that uh, this histogram will be for ct this will be for r and this will be for tt Also, I can create a data export file where we will identify which properties I want to export. I can export also all each task duration, but I want to export only the final results. And uh, now I will use all those uh, histograms and will run this execution a hundred times and will export the data and uh, will um, will update histograms during the execution so i will save this project and let's run but now with monte carlo analysis again this is available ability to run uh, many times uh, histograms uh, and uh, distributions which we are not using the, st the standard distributions are available but uh, like a uh, uniform distribution or normal distributions are available only in uh, in 19 